Hello friends, welcome to beautiful St. Louis, Missouri. Old Thomas Jefferson, he had this vision of greater opportunities for men of all races and creeds and women. And back in 1947, the Jefferson National Memorial Expansion Association had a contest, a design contest, to make a new Jefferson Memorial right here at a very important part in our history. Right near here is where Lewis and Clark landed from their expedition to and fro the west coast. But we've, we have visited that location before. Friends, this is the result of the design contest, the, the famous arch. Let's go check it out. The Gateway Arch, specifically. The Gateway Arch is 630 feet tall, making it the largest monument in the United States, and it's as wide as it is tall. Well, we're not sure, I'm not sure, they're not sure, because it doesn't say on the website, that it might be the longest or the widest monument too, but we're not sure. I have caught an influencer in the wild. Yeah. I'm an influencer in the wild. I mean, look at me. I don't do any dances though. I think it's, I think it's fun. Construction began on this arch in 1961 and completed in 1965. It's all stainless steel. Solid. The anchors go 60 feet into this ground right here. It's so big. It's so big. I've seen it from the freeway a bunch of times, but up close it's just incredible. Here's an interesting view. It's perspective. This park is pretty full of people. It's a beautiful day out. I'm wearing a jacket, but a lot of people are in t-shirts. It's just so big. I, I can't put into film how big this thing is in real life. A lot of people are enjoying the views from the park, the grassy area underneath the arch, but we, my friends, are going to enjoy the views from the top of the arch. I do not like heights at all don't like heights. I was trying to get into the Washington Monument earlier this year and it closed down like minutes before I got my ticket to go on and I was kind of relieved because although I do want to see the beautiful sights of Washington DC and St. Louis I get a little nervous. <laughs> That's a long ways up there 630 feet. I don't know if I've been in a structure that tall before. A uh, Sears Tower something like that but a structure like this whew, It's a large ticket center and entrance. If you're feeling like me, you really don't like heights and maybe you're questioning this, well, this is the ride you're gonna be in to go to the top. So you can just check it out first if you're comfortable with that. It takes 45 to 60 minutes, it says. I've got my ticket, it costs $17, but I cannot enter until 4.40. That's about 40 minutes from now. So I'm just gonna hang out here, check out the land. In 1967, the tram ride to the top was completed. And from what I can tell, there's only a couple of windows right up there in the peak where you can view anything. I, I can't see anything otherwise, but we'll see very soon. Right across the street is the Hyatt Regency, which says they have a historical sports bar inside. So I'm gonna go snatch a beer while I wait. Okay, friends, it's time. I'm kind of nervous. map of where St. Louis is in the United States. It's a nice map. We are currently right here on the map and I came from right about this area, drove from there last night, stopped in Indiana, but I can't wait to make it back down there, right about there. I was going through the security line and I thought that all the metal was out of my pocket. I didn't know that the National Park's passport book had a metal binding. It looks plastic to me, but the security guard wanted to bet me a dollar. I declined that this had metal in it. <laughs> and it did, so I got stopped and it was comical. There is a museum as a part of this tour as well. I didn't realize that, this is pretty neat. I asked what the name of this museum was and the National Parks lady said, they just call it the Museum Under the Arch. So welcome to the Museum Under the Arch. 
Got some Lewis and Clark stuff here. Some history on the foundations of St. Louis in the Midwest. Old timey stagecoach display. Riverboats. So this here is the third busiest port in America, right here in St. Louis. I'll have to check out more of this later. It's about time for us to get on the tram and make it to the top. And I'm back. Thank you. Thank you. To the top. So you get a tram assigned to you. I am the only one in tram number five. Although you can't hardly tell that says five. This right here is going to be our wall through the decades. Now the arch has been there for almost six decades, and in those almost 60 years, we've had hundreds of thousands of donations of photographs from visitors and natives alike. Proper construction, and then finally opened the general public for the first time as well. The Gateway Arch. What is it? Why is it here? And what does it stand for? We will also see historic moments that were happening worldwide while the arch was still being constructed. Now as you guys take a little gander at that, I'm going to give you some very quick history. Now back in the mid-60s, it did indeed cost $13 million just to build this stainless steel arch. Going down further and further. Oh, there we go. Almost ready to enter. There we go. Through the venting up here. Can't see much. And the 1067 steps that lead to the top on this four minute ride. It's four minutes on the way up and three minutes on the way down. It's like a workshop down there. Interesting to see the structure. type of mechanism like this on the planet of Earth. It's a very specific machine that is operating right now. It was designed by the same architect that designed the arch itself. It was built two years later because they ran out of money while they were building the arch. So they gathered the money and then made this custom elevator slash ferris wheel slash escalator design, which seems pretty efficient. And it's totally free to be out right now. So we're already high up here. I think we're there. Yep. Oh, the top one. Top, please. I said, you can't call it. Oh, 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 and then the Hyatt where I had a, a beer while I was waiting. And the rest of this beautiful city. Oh, there's the baseball park. 730 feet right here. There's Illinois. You can't see me very well. It's pretty dark in here. Everyone's leaning over these things that it's very sloped. It's sill that you can totally lean on. And it's it's really making me uneasy because <laughs> you're just like laying out on top of this window and looking down. Let me see. Very tip top right here. I'm standing right on it. The helicopter is so far below us down there. It's crazy how high we are. It's pretty dark up here. The only way you're able to see me right now is because the sunset is shining on my face through this tiny window. I love it up here. This is so cool. I'm not nervous up here at all. It feels very sturdy. They say that the, the arch moves up to 18 inches, nine inches either way, and really heavy winds, like 150 miles an hour wind. But 
There's no movement. I can't feel anything at all. It's pretty safe. Time to head back down. We're, uh, we're really moving all the way down. Gravity helps. Sure. My ears just popped. Okay, friends. That's it. Ride's over. Now it's time to visit the gift shop and get our passport stamp. Well, my passport stamp. Something else I learned is pretty interesting is that not only is it 630 feet across and wide, but it's designed after the image of a chain hanging upside down. So you held the two points and that, that arch, that's exactly what this is. There's a name for that type of arch that I do not remember at this time, but there you go, now you know. The art store, that's a big one. Lots of stuff in here, archy stuff. Root beer. I like root beer. The Gateway Arch National Park, which is one of the smallest national parks in the country, also includes the old courthouse. It's on the same property of 90 acres. Here is the only place you can get your 2023 Gateway Arch National Park Christmas ornament if you are into such things. You get so much 2023 Gateway Arch National Park stuff here. Like coffee mugs and tumblers, t-shirts. I like this one the best. This one's pretty cool too. You have a large kids section with some toys and stuff. You can pick up an old timey compass and be like Lewis and Clark, make your own expedition. Lots of books, some old timey games here, the kazoo, and fudge. You can buy fudge here, big chunks of fudge. I don't like fudge that much to buy that much. And stickers, a lot of them. A lot of great stuff here, but I'm looking for the stamps. Found it, right on. Found the Midwest region here, and right in the in the center is where we're at. Well, we're actually like right there at the moment, underneath the ground. You wanna make sure the date is correct, which I just did, and just stamp away. If you haven't seen any of my videos where I get the cancellation stamp and the National Parks passport book, uh, there's a lot of great locations around the country that this has taken me to. I would have never known about a lot of the locations in here and it's provided a lot of content that you and I have shared together. You've joined me on adventures to so many places and my first cancellation stamp book and this one, my first one went through the washer a couple times and I lost all the stamps I can't read anymore. So I had to restart, which is okay. It's just a mode of adventure. It's 10 bucks, totally worth it. And they should sponsor my channel, by the way. Here's a nice display that shows you what the structure looks like at the top while we were looking out those windows. This is a much bigger example with that giant flashing red light that you see from the freeway or from all over the city or surrounding cities because you can see this from everywhere. It's time to exit, check out the view at nighttime. I'm sure it's lit up nice. We should go check it out. stainless steel and it's not lit up at night I think it just absorbs the local light from the city you can see it from all around thanks for joining me today friends here in beautiful st. Louis Missouri I appreciate your company here at the Gateway Arch National Park this has been a really great adventure up to the top of the largest national monument in our country how cool thanks for joining me today friends I'll see you in the next video Amazing.